And in this uh, lesson, we'll discover the pronunciation of the consonant, so les consonnes. Are you ready? So let's start now. Okay, so les consonnes, B, B, okay, so this one shouldn't be that difficult to produce, B, B, then comes C, okay, C, D, D, F, F, G, G, Okay, so if we want to repeat them one more time, B, C, D, F, G. Okay, let's see the others. H, H, J, J, K, K. L, L, M, M. Okay, one more time. H, J, K, L, M. Okay, and then of course it continues. N, N, P, P, Q, Q, R, R. So it's quite important because people tend to think that French people are making this eh, like that really deep and really, uh, well, it, it will hurt your uh, throat if you, you try to insist too much on that and if you listen to me well basically it's not that strong air air okay so it's quite soft air air the next one is s s okay so let's see them one more time n p q R, S, and the last consonant are T, T, V, V, W, W, okay, so we've got this double, 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 and then V, W, okay, X, X, and the last one, Z, Z, okay, so remember to pronounce this D at the end, Z, Z, okay, so let's see them one more time, T, V, W, X, Z. Discover les accents. So the accents and normally when we talk about the accents we tend to insist on the accents which are on the top of the letter e uh, okay because they will change the the pronunciation of the the letter when you put the accents on the top of o e or a uh, well nowadays we don't really pronounce the the the, the, the differences uh, but then e uh, is still affected by that so 
you should really, really first remember the name of the accent, okay? And it's normally like that, okay? And then the sound that you will have to pronounce uh, or to produce when you see it on the top of the uh, okay? Because so without any accent, this letter, if you remember, we saw that previously, is pronounced uh, uh, okay? But then when you put this, this one, so this one is called accent aigu, okay? It goes like that in that direction, okay. And you will pronounce the the, the letter like a, okay. Listen to the difference without the accent, a, uh, with the accent a, okay. Without a uh, and with a, all right. Second accent that we can work on. It's a little bit the same, but it goes in the other direction. So if you look, it goes like that, okay? And then it's called accent grave, accent grave, okay? And the sound that you will have to produce is a. Eh. So it's really open. I mean, the sound is really open, and normally your mouth should be opened a little bit more than with the accent aigu as well, okay? So it goes like a. Eh. All right, don't, don't be afraid to insist a little bit on the pronunciation, okay? Uh, first, and then you can make it uh, shorter after, of course. Eh, eh, all right? So let's compare them. The first one is e, eh, and then the second one is eh, all right? The good news is that the next one, so accent circonflexe, is pronounced like accent grave. Okay, so it's the same pronunciation here, okay, and it's the open one, okay, a, right, okay, a, all right, so you can see that it's just like a little hat that you get to put on the top of a, uh, okay, so let's see one more time the differences, this one, a, okay, and then these two accents, like here, a, open, a, okay? The last one, tréma, well, basically it's quite rare. And the tricky thing is that in some cases, you will have to, you will have to pronounce it like a, okay? Like for instance, Noel, okay? But then in some cases as well, it can be pronounced like a, okay? So my advice would be try to remember the word and they are really really ra rare so don't don't be don't be afraid about that okay so but that let's focus on the three main accents here okay the first one accent aigu remember a accent grave a and the last one accent circonflexe a So we'll focus on the les caractères spéciaux, so the special characters that maybe you will have to use if you want to well spell your name or then if you want to uh, give a web address or something like that. So because normally they can be quite useful and at the at the really beginning. So it, it's quite useful to to uh, spend a little time on them. Okay, so let's start now. Uh, les caractères spéciaux, the first one. Okay. If you look at it, it's here, okay? And we called it tiré, okay? Tiré, all right? Let's see the second one. Same thing, but it's, you know, the low one. So we call it tiré bas, tiré bas, okay? So remember the first one located in the middle is tiré, and the other one here is tiré bas. Okay, let's see the, the other one. So, officially, we called it arobas, arobas, okay? But then, well, let's be honest, we can hear many French people or French-speaking people using this at, okay? Uh, but then the French were, of course, at, all right? Uh, but officially, it should be 
arrobas, okay? So don't be surprised if someone is using that or then uh, you can use it as well because that's the way it should be. It should be used. So arrobas, okay? Um, here, so the dot, okay? Because it's not always easy to, to spot here. Uh, we, we call it point, okay? Point, all right? So one more time. Tire, tire bas, arrobas, point. Okay? And then it continues a little bit. So if you want to indicate that you've got, well, double, a double letter, okay? Um, you can say, so in that case, it's P, P, okay? So you say de, okay? De, it's two in French. De, okay? P, de, P, okay? If it would be another letter, then you would say de, and then the name of the, the letter, of course. Then this one here is called apostrophe. Okay, apostrophe, apostrophe, okay, and the last one for this lesson, here you can see that in some cases, so we'll see that a bit later, I mean the reason why, but still you can have this little thing beneath the C, okay, and that's what we call cédille, cédille, okay. Cédille, yeah, 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 cédille, okay? 